So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Wavelink 2.0 software from Elgato, specifically the new voice focus feature that is a big draw to this update and seeing how it compares to NVIDIA broadcast noise suppression. All right, so this is Elgato software website. If you want to get Wavelink 2.0, you can go here. I'll link it down below so you can check it out. But you do need to have either the Wave 3, Wave Neo, Wave XLR. So I'm using the Wave 1 that originally came out with the Wave 3. I don't think it's in production anymore, but you can probably still find it if you like to. So the Wave 3 is pretty much the one that's available still. So once you download that, you're going to open up this Wavelink 2.0 software. It's really simple to work with. I do like the layout a lot better. You can go here and add additional inputs to whatever you like. Um, let's say you have voice chat, which would be Discord. You can set that up. You can set up the system sounds just as needed. So if I do system sound here, I can add specific apps to that. Um, or I can just have the system uh, audio come through if I want it to. So really cool, really easy to work with and adjust. And then and you have your monitor mix, which you can hear in your headphones, similar to like voice meter, which is that those A1s. And you have your stream mix, which is gonna go out to your broadcasting or streaming software like OBS. So one of the big things in this update was this voice focus feature. Um, which I've had off for right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some background noise uh, air conditioner so we can hear it and then we'll see what voice focus does when it's engaged. All right, so now you can hear I got an air condition going in the background. It's pretty loud or loud enough for you to be able to hear it. So what I'm gonna do is just engage this. So now the voice focus is engaged. Um, and it does a really good job of kind of getting rid of the majority of it. Now, I did mess around with this this weak and strong dial. But bringing it to the highest level, it's obviously getting rid of the majority of that background noise. There's a little bit of artifacting on the mic, but it's not bad. Um, it's not, or it's not really, really noticeable. Now, if I bring it down all the way to the weak side, it still does a really good job of getting rid of that um, background noise but it does keep it there a little bit so I think the sweet spot for me is about three quarters of the way here maybe even half and as, as you can see the bar down here when I'm completely quiet it goes away so you kind of want to like play with your levels I think for, from what I gathered for this technology is that is it only works as hard as it needs to in certain cases. So like, let's say you have a low level of, of sound noise in the background. It's not going to work as hard as like, say now with the with the air conditioner on. So unlike other technology where it's just, hey, it, it's working hard 24 seven or it's working hard all the time at that one level. I think this is able to adjust. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, like I said, works pretty good. Again, I'll turn it off. So this is with it off. And what I'll do is kind of just like tap on my desk here so you can hear that pretty clearly. So I'll do that again. You can kind of hear the tapping. So I'm bringing up the strength all the way. pretty much nothing no tapping but yeah that, that's a pretty drastic example but again i kind of keep it in this area which works perfect for me so now let's check out nvidia broadcast and see what that's like all right so now we're on nvidia broadcast and this is its newest update um that happened not too long ago so now they've added some additional features here so i'll turn on noise removal so this is with the just noise removal on in nvidia broadcast so now this is with the room echo removal i did notice some a lot of art artifacting in this but because you'd only need it in certain situations um this not being one of them so i'm gonna turn that back off and i think it does a pretty good job from what i was hearing studio voice again i'm not gonna mess with it 
for some reason on my PC, it just doesn't work very well. So again, this is the noise removal for NVIDIA broadcast, no sliders or anything like that. And then this is without it. You know, th this has kind of been the standard noise removal program besides Discord or whatever Discord has embedded in it. But I've always noticed that this has done a really good job. So we'll do a quick comparison side by side in from NVIDIA broadcast to Wavelink, and then we'll wrap it up and I'll give you my overall thoughts. All right, so this is with noise removal off in NVIDIA broadcast, and this is with noise removal on in NVIDIA broadcast. All right, this is with voice focus off in Wavelink 2.0. And this is with voice focus on in Wavelink 2.0. And this is with the strength meter all the way up in Wavelink 2.0. So you tell me if there's a difference, or which one sounds better, which one needs some work. All right, so that's pretty much gonna be it. Kind of just wanted to show off that voice focus feature, which is still engaged actually. You know, I can really notice that it does a great job at removing background noise while not doing too much to to your vocals keep so keeps it really clear especially when you're gaming when you're talking through discord or something like that you don't want there to be a lot of noise in the background now could get away with doing it on some podcasts but i would always recommend just have, make sure you're in a good environment for something like that though you don't have to mess with your mic too much but again this this is really great software you know free upgrade for those of you that have the ogata hardware and again if you're not if you don't video broadcast is still that great option again it does a really good job has some additional features now i do think the clarity of wavelength does a better job unfortunately you can only use it for elgato products so it's kind of a drawback you, i can't take my other microphones and apply this voice focus feature so maybe in a future update they'll let you do that but right now it's just for elgato either wave mic xlr stuff like that now if you're running your microphone through the elgato xlr it's a different story but for the most part the way it's set up now it has to be an elgato product so and, and that's similar to the software you can only use the software if you have an elgato product so there's still that restriction there and video broadcast is just for everybody and and, and again voice meter does have noise suppression but it's not great right now so maybe in a future update, I can do a comparison with all of them that are out there. But yeah, hopefully this helped you out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.